In solid state physics, the free electron model is a simple model for the behavior of charge carriers in a metallic solid. It was developed in 1927, principally by Arnold Sommerfeld who combined the classical Drude model with quantum mechanical Fermi–Dirac statistics and hence it is also known as the drude sommerfeld model. Given its simplicity, it is surprisingly successful in explaining many experimental phenomena, especially the Wiedemann–Franz law which relates electrical conductivity and thermal conductivity, the temperature dependence of the electron heat capacity, the shape of the electronic density of states, the range of binding energy values, electrical conductivities, the Seebeck coefficient of the thermoelectric effect, thermal electron emission and field electron emission from bulk metals. The free electron model solved many of the inconsistencies related to the Drude model and gave insight into several other properties of metals. The model considers that metals are composed of a quantum electron gas where ions play almost no role. The model can be very predictive when applied to alkali and noble metals. <laughs> <laughs> Ideas and assumptions In the free electron model four main assumptions are taken into account. Free electron approximation – The interaction between the ions and the valence electrons is mostly neglected, except in boundary conditions. The ions only keep the charge neutrality in the metal. Unlike in the Drude model, the ions are not necessarily the source of collisions. Independent electron approximation – The interactions between electrons are ignored. The electrostatic fields in metals are weak because of the screening effect. Relaxation time approximation – There is some unknown scattering mechanism such that the electron probability of collision is inversely proportional to the relaxation time tau, display style tau which represents the average time between collisions. The collisions do not depend on the electronic configuration. Pauli exclusion principle – Each quantum state of the system can only be occupied by a single electron. This restriction of available electron states is taken into account by Fermi–Dirac statistics see also Fermi gas. Main predictions of the free electron model are derived by the Sommerfeld expansion of the Fermi–Dirac occupancy for energies around the Fermi level. The name of the model comes from the first two assumptions, as each electron can be treated as free particle with a respective quadratic relation between energy and momentum. The crystal lattice is not explicitly taken into account in the free electron model, but a quantum mechanical justification was given a year later 1928 by Bloch's theorem, an unbound electron moves in a periodic potential as a free electron in vacuum, except for the electron mass me becoming an effective mass m** which may deviate considerably from me one can even use negative effective mass to describe conduction by electron holes. Effective masses can be derived from band structure computations that were not originally taken into account in the free electron model. Topic: <laughs> From the Drude model. Many physical properties follow directly from the Drude model as some equations do not depend on the statistical distribution of the particles. Taking the classical velocity distribution of an ideal gas or the velocity distribution of a Fermi gas only changes the results related to the speed of the electrons. Mainly, the free electron model and the Drude model predict the same DC electrical conductivity sigma for Ohm's law, that is J equals sigma E Display style math bf j equals sigma math bf e quad with sigma equals n e two tau m e display style quad sigma equals frac ne caret two tau m underscore e where j Display style math bf j is the current density e. Display style math bf e is the external electric field n. 
display style n is the electronic density number of electrons volume and e display style e is the electron electric charge other quantities that remain the same under the free electron model as under Drude's are the AC susceptibility, the plasma frequency, the magnetoresistance, and the Hall coefficient related to the Hall effect. <laughs> Properties of an electron gas Many properties of the free electron model follow directly from equations related to the Fermi gas, as the independent electron approximation leads to an ensemble of non-interacting electrons. For a three-dimensional electron gas we can define the Fermi energy as E F equals 2 2 m e 3 pi 2 n 2 3 display style e underscore erm f equals frac h bar caret 2 2 meters underscore e left 3 pi caret 2 n right caret frac 2 3 where display style h bar is the reduced Planck constant. The Fermi energy defines the Fermi level, i.e. the maximal energy an electron in the metal can have at zero temperature. For metals the Fermi energy is in the order of units of electronvolts. <inaudible> <inaudible> density of states The 3D density of states, number of energy states per energy per volume of a non-interacting electron gas is given by G E equals m e pi two three two m e e equals three two N E F E E F Display style G E equals FRAC M underscore E pi carrot two H BAR carrot three SQRT two meters underscore E E equals FRAC three two FRAC N E underscore erm F SQRT FRAC E E underscore erm F where e zero text style e g e q zero is the energy of a given electron. This formula takes into account the spin degeneracy, but does not consider a possible energy shift due to the bottom of the conduction band. For two d, the density of states is constant, and for one d, is inversely proportional to the square root of the electron energy. topic chemical potential additionally the fermi energy is used to define chemical potential mu display style mu sommerfeld expansion is a technique used to calculate the chemical potential for higher energies that is mu t equals e f 1 minus pi 2 12 t t f 2 minus pi 4 80 t t f 4 plus Display style mu t equals e underscore erm f left one frac pi caret two twelve left frac t t underscore erm f right caret two frac pi caret four eighty left frac t t underscore erm f right caret four plus c d o t s right where t display style t is the temperature and we define T F equals E 
f k b text style t underscore erm f equals e underscore erm f k underscore erm b as the fermi temperature k b display style k underscore erm b is boltzmann constant the perturbative approach is justified as the Fermi temperature is usually of about 105 K for a metal, hence at room temperature or lower the Fermi energy and the chemical potential are practically equivalent. <laughs> Compressibility of metals and degeneracy pressure The total energy per unit volume at T equals 0 text style t equals 0 can also be calculated by integrating over the phase space of the system we obtain u 0 equals 3 5 n e f Display style u zero equals frac three five ne underscore erm f, which does not depend on temperature. Compare with the energy per electron of an ideal gas. Three two k b t text style frac three two k underscore erm b t, which is null at zero temperature. For an ideal gas to have the same energy as the electron gas, the temperatures would need to be of the order of the Fermi temperature. Thermodynamically, this energy of the electron gas corresponds to a zero temperature pressure given by P equals minus U V T mu equals 2 3 u 0 display style p equals left frac partial u partial v right underscore t mu equals frac 2 3 u 0 where v text style v is the volume and u t equals u t v Text style U T equals U T V is the total energy, the derivative performed at temperature and chemical potential constant. This pressure is called the electron degeneracy pressure and does not come from repulsion or motion of the electrons but from the restriction that no more than two electrons due to the two values of spin can occupy the same energy level. This pressure defines the compressibility or bulk modulus of the metal B equals minus V P V T mu equals five three P equals two three N E F Display style b equals v left frac partial p partial v right underscore t mu equals frac five three p equals frac two three ne underscore erm f. This expression gives the right order of magnitude for the bulk modulus for alkali metals and noble metals, which show that this pressure is as important as other effects inside the metal. For other metals the crystalline structure has to be taken into account. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Additional predictions. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Heat capacity. One open problem in solid-state physics before the arrival of the free electron model was related to the low heat capacity of metals. Even when the Drude model was a good approximation for the Lorenz number of the Weidmann-Franz law, the classical argument is based on the idea that the volumetric heat capacity of an ideal gas is C V Drude 
equals 3 2 n k b display style c underscore v caret text drewed equals frac 3 2 n k underscore erm b if this was the case, the heat capacity of a metal could be much higher due to this electronic contribution. Nevertheless, such a large heat capacity was never measured, rising suspicions about the argument. By using Sommerfeld's expansion one can obtain corrections of the energy density at finite temperature and obtain the volumetric heat capacity of an electron gas, given by C V equals U T N equals pi two two T T F N K B Display style C underscore V equals left FRAC partial U partial T right underscore N equals FRAC pi carrot two two FRAC T T underscore erm F N K underscore erm B where the prefactor to N K B Display style N K underscore B is considerably smaller than the three halves found in C V Drood text style C underscore V carrot text Drood about 100 times smaller at room temperature and much smaller at lower T text style T the good estimation of the Lorenz number in the Drude model was a result of the classical mean velocity of electron being about 100 larger than the quantum version, compensating the large value of the classical heat capacity. The free electron model calculation of the Lorenz factor is about twice the value of Drude's and it's closer to the experimental value. With this heat capacity the free electron model is also able to predict the right order of magnitude and temperature dependence at low T for the Seebeck coefficient of the thermoelectric effect. Evidently, the electronic contribution alone does not predict the dulong petit law, i.e. the observation that the heat capacity of a metal is constant at high temperatures. The free electron model can be improved in this sense by adding the lattice vibrations contribution. Two famous schemes to include the lattice into the problem are the Einstein solid model and Debye model. With the addition of the later, the volumetric heat capacity of a metal at low temperatures can be more precisely written in the form C V approximately equals gamma T plus A T 3 Display style C underscore V approximately gamma T plus at carrot three where gamma display style gamma and a display style A are constants of related to the material. The linear term comes from the electronic contribution while the cubic term comes from Debye model. At high temperature this expression is no longer correct, the electronic heat capacity can be neglected, and the total heat capacity of the metal tends to a constant. <laughs> <laughs> mean free path Notice that without the relaxation time approximation, there is no reason for the electrons to deflect their motion, as there are no interactions, thus the mean free path should be infinite. Drude model considered the mean free path of electrons to be close to the distance between ions in the material, implying the earlier conclusion that the diffusive motion of the electrons was due to collisions with the ions. The mean free paths in the free electron model are instead given by lambda equals v f tau text style lambda equals v underscore erm f tau where v f equals 2 e f m e 
text style v underscore erm f equals sqrt two e underscore erm f per meter underscore e is the Fermi speed and are in the order of hundreds of angstroms, at least one order of magnitude larger than any possible classical calculation. The mean free path is then not a result electron ion collisions but instead is related to imperfections in the material, either due to defects and impurities in the metal, or due to thermal fluctuations. <laughs> Inaccuracies and extensions The free electron model presents several inadequacies that are contradicted by experimental observation. We list some inaccuracies below. Temperature dependence The free electron model presents several physical quantities that have the wrong temperature dependence, or no dependence at all like the electrical conductivity. The thermal conductivity and specific heat are well predicted for alkali metals at low temperatures, but fails to predict high temperature behavior coming from ion motion and phonon scattering. Hall effect and magnetoresistance The Hall coefficient has a constant value Rh equals minus 1, Ne in Drude's model and in the free electron model. This value is independent of temperature and the strength of the magnetic field. The Hall coefficient is actually dependent on the band structure and the difference with the model can be quite dramatic when studying elements like magnesium and aluminium that have a strong magnetic field dependence. The free electron model also predicts that the traverse magnetoresistance, the resistance in the direction of the current, does not depend on the strength of the field. In almost all the cases it does. Directional the conductivity of some metals can depend of the orientation of the sample with respect to the electric field. Sometimes even the electrical current is not parallel to the field. This possibility is not described because the model does not integrate the crystallinity of metals, i.e. the existence of a periodic lattice of ions. Diversity in the conductivity not all metals are electrical conductors, some do not conduct electricity very well insulators, some can conduct when impurities are added like semiconductors. Semimetals, with narrow conduction bands also exist. This diversity is not predicted by the model and can only be explained by analyzing the valence and conduction bands. Additionally, electrons are not the only charge carriers in a metal. Electron vacancies or holes can be seen as quasiparticles carrying positive electric charge. Conduction of holes leads to an opposite sign for the Hall and Seebeck coefficients predicted by the model. Other inadequacies are present in the Weidmann Franz law at intermediate temperatures and the frequency dependence of metals in the optical spectrum. More exact values for the electrical conductivity and Weidmann Franz law can be obtained by softening the relaxation time approximation by appealing to Boltzmann transport equations or Cubo formula. The spin is mostly neglected in the free electron model and its consequences can lead to emergent magnetic phenomena like Pauli paramagnetism and ferromagnetism. An immediate continuation to the free electron model can be obtained by assuming the empty lattice approximation, which forms the basis of the band structure model known as the nearly free electron model. Adding repulsive interactions between electrons does not change very much the picture presented here. Lev Landau showed that a Fermi gas under repulsive interactions, can be seen as a gas of equivalent quasiparticles that slightly modify the properties of the metal. Landau's model is now known as the Fermi liquid theory. More exotic phenomena like superconductivity, where interactions can be attractive, require a more refined theory. See also Block wave Electronic entropy Tight binding Two-dimensional electron gas Bose-Einstein statistics Fermi surface White dwarf